One of the main reasons why I don't like baking is because it takes really long and there's always so much to clean up afterwards but I really like this recipe because it's easy, there's no whisking involved <laughs> I'm not even sure if this can be qualified as baking but if it is, it's the type of baking for me it's not time consuming and there's not much to clean up afterwards like this is it this mini unit for seven years or rather seven years ago I picked it out for Pat when he was moving to Munich and for something seven and a half years old it's actually in pretty good shape so if you're an IKEA family member you can actually bring your used furniture back to IKEA and they'll give you a little bit of your money back that was our initial plan but after we brought the TV down we noticed that the TV stand left a mark instead I put it on Facebook marketplace and there's actually somebody who's going to collect it this evening I get weirdly sentimental to furniture <laughs> I hope she gives it a good home and she'll put it to good use The stone on the new TV cabinet is really beautiful but it seems to stand out too much because it's currently the only pattern thing in the living room. The good news is I actually chanced upon the perfect rub. It's in a classic checkered pattern but it's not too in your face since the colours are so muted. I think it would balance out the pattern of the stone top nicely and also make the living room look and feel more cosy. Now that we have something for the floor, let's check out the ceiling aka lighting. I have three options options in mind and I really want to hear your opinions. A flush mount, a pendant, or a large statement light. I love the boldness of the last one but Pat thinks it's too modern compared to the rest of the aesthetics of our home. Over on this corner, I would like to add a cabinet, probably something with glass. Last but probably most important, I want to do a board and batten all around the living room. I found this advertisement where I fell in love with the board and batten particularly for its proportions. I love that the topmost piece is not traditionally thin but almost as thick as the rest of the board and batten. I think it just elevates the whole look somehow. The colour is also amazing but I'm keeping my options open since we already have two rooms painted green. I think we have a really good base right now and I can start adding the decorating elements here. Since we already spent money on the new TV cabinet and the rug, I want to shop around our home. We have this little accent mirror and this vase and we also have a lot of books left that we can decorate with. I don't know if I say this all the time but this is probably my favourite mood board that I've ever done. 
I'm trying to contain my excitement. <laughs> of the bought and bathroom so that I can start buying material. This is what I used in our previous apartment. But I think it's a bit too wide. I'm going to look from far. Yeah, it's a bit too wide and giving very barn vibes. So I brought something thinner as well. I like that much more. Maybe it's better from this angle. This is the thinner version versus the thicker version. Do you see a huge difference or is it just me? 